how should a woman cut her hair when she both makes umrah and hajj and then in brackets tamattu? Okay. Yeah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Again, the matter is easy. Yeah. Don't be over cautious, my dear brothers and sisters, about these things. Okay. As the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Qaida unmula." Yeah. Or the scholars said, "Qaida unmula." Yeah. Little amount from your hair. If you can pull your hair together and just cut, yeah, or someone else cuts for you because some people are over cautious and they say that you cannot cut by yourself. Yes. Someone else has to cut uh, by you. Okay, the matter is not a big deal. Yeah, if you uh, have uh, what is it? Um, these uh, braids. Ah, huh? braids or plaits? Uh, uh, braids. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Then each one and cut from them. If you do not have that, just pull it as we said and just cut little bit that length. So Chef, you have in you, some cultures. You don't need to, oh, let me, how many millimeters? Yeah, <laughs> okay. and just cut it and maybe have a meter and check and d check that. Did I, uh, have I cut from every single piece of fur or thread of fur? No, not like this. So Chef, yeah. but in some cultures, what they do, they don't take the whole plat, they take pieces and they just cut. So I have yeah, loose, no, that's, uh, that's, that's also fine. okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, that's alhamdulillah. Fine, alhamdulillah. So the next question we have, salamu alaikum, Sheikh. Is yeah, there sorry. If sorry. she's doing hajj tamattu, yes. and hajj tamattu, obviously she will be doing umrah followed by hajj. Yes. So she will cut her hair after the umrah. Yes. Okay. Remove the haram, and now no, she's not in the state of haram. Then she does the hajj. Yeah. Yes. And then she cuts the Again. Hair. So yeah. two cuttings, inshallah. Yeah.